So Gallery Pado is an art gallery that opened this June uh, right outside of Koreatown in Melrose Hill and it is a small community gallery where everybody's welcome to come in and enjoy the art and talk about everything. Well, it's obviously very difficult um, because, you know, the government is pretty like flip-flopping on what to open and what to not open and we actually got to open the gallery right during the time when galleries and museums were allowed to open so that was pretty that was pretty uh, difficult because we only had like short amount of time to you know uh, plan an uh, opening event and everything and invite people and a lot of guests were understandably pretty like uneasy about coming so it, yeah it was very difficult and right now we're kind of stuck in this limbo where we don't know when we're gonna open again and so we've been trying to kind of kind of uh, be creative about it so um, we can't like open the traditional way so we were kind of exploring ways to take it virtual and looking for options for like maybe YouTube and other social medias and stuff like that well so I've always wanted to be in advertising so actually my full-time job I work for an ad agency and I also do a little bit of PR because it kind of comes together but um, I, I thought that I learned when I started working at the agency that PR and advertising are pretty different fields so right now at the gallery my job is uh, PR coordinator so I've been writing like articles I've been PR, writing PR releases to be you know, published as a newspaper article and it's really exciting to have my stuff published in newspapers and stuff and also have people look at the article and come to the gallery and that's been pretty exciting and also uh, during, the, during some of the exhibitions you know, I got to invite a lot of my friends and it was like a cool experience to you know, get everybody together and have a place to you know, talk about art and also hang out. Um, I would say be patient, <laughs> but also like, um, yeah, because it's very difficult to start any sort of business during this time because it's not, you know, it's everything, it, all this traditional method of starting a business or starting anything is kind of out the door. So I guess my advice is to be, be patient and, you know, kind of, and also try to think outside the box and see what you can do until things get back to normal.